Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be from Starcon, New York City land. All of the replays that did not make it to the mainstream upper right corner, we got launched starting as the yellow Zerg, bottom left hand corner, we have Zen starting as the Great Protoss. Might be challenging for Zen because they, if I recall, Zerg is his weakest matchup. Don't quote me on that. He's very strong PvP under the tutelage of Jayun quite often, but uh, I've seen him struggle here and there versus Zerg players in particular. Launch. Part of Team Urk, the illustrious clan, but I don't know a ton about him otherwise, aside from the fact that he dropped to launch, which is here where I'm not sure. All the rounds and whatnot are kind of messed up just because of the weird staggering of the bracket and there being a buy for some players round one. Uh, so I'm not sure that I got everything out in proper order across the board. I think sometimes I may have ended up casting people that have lost and then or have one uh, that are still haven't played their games in the upper bracket but point being I just want to get the games out here and make sure that uh, as many games as I can that I've got content wise that I just get them out here so just FYI might be a little bit out of order based and also have to I've got a bunch of replays that uh looks like we're seeing a nine pool or over pool opening here by the way from launch I got a whole bunch of replays I'm trying to sort through all of them and some of them aren't uh from they weren't part of the main tournament some of them were just funsies. I might do those afterwards, depending. I've got a backlog of games to do, though, because uh, i got a bunch of Korean reps actually in the background to do as well. But before I get too far into this, I also want to let everybody know if you want to see some heads-up action from the North American scene, the North American Pro League has started. Jayun and Striker organizing that. That's going to be on Artosis' channel twice a month, I believe, on his channel, Artosis TV. Or it's just Artosis, I think, actually, on Twitch. So check that out. He started this, uh, I believe they got started this last Sunday. You can donate to it as well. I don't know if I'm going to remember to put the donation link in the description. I'm planning on donating. I just haven't gotten around to it because I'm lazy. No, it's because I'm preoccupied with a lot of other things right this second, but I do plan on doing it. And I think that's, it's just a great way to help bolster the scene in particular leading up to this upcoming BSL season. A second zealot is queued. So we got one zealot initially. The drone's going to be able to wander up and see it. However, upon seeing that quick pool opening, that zealot might want to play a little bit more defensively. You can see that probe trying to actually might not want to follow that drone, might instead might want to pattern alongside those Zerglings. But this is going to give time Zen. Oh, is Zen going to go for the Nexus? So he's got a second zealot out. Usually with the with an early pool opener like this, you want to try to sneak a forge out to make sure that front door is blocked. He's got a probe kind of going back and forth right this second. Put a pylon block to disrupt the third and slow that down. We do have a gas drop behind this a little bit later than what would be optimal timing for early spire play, but it looks like that probe's going to be able to cycle back around and take a look at that extractor timing, which is going to... And Zen is, in fact, going for that Nexus. A little bit risky. So four Zerglings making the way this direction. This is not a front door seal. So the Zealot's actually going to have to run back to the natural and blockade here. And it might be a challenge for Zen to get back out and defend all this. So, and he has to be careful because those Zerglings, especially four on one right here, yeah, has to see a lot of territory. And this becomes, this is the challenge of going for that Nexus first rather than dropping that forge in between is the Zerglings can wreak havoc. Fortunately for him, the additional Zerglings did not peel off to create more frustration on the front. But now that forge is up, Zen can go ahead and pull those zealots back. Going for that earlier nexus does mean that plus one weapons will be slightly lighter. Not that big a deal. But no, ooh, the probes aren't in gas as of yet. For Zen, wants to make sure he gets that gas up and running. The, his probe has managed to stay alive. So three base, looks like initial three base play. And it is going to be three base layer to start. So I assume this is going to be three, uh, three base layer into four hatch. Spire initial play. That style where you get the Spire down and then drop that fourth hatchery and get the Scourge out initially. We'll see how, what sort of disruption plan Zen has. One Zealot taking some base damage. Looks like the Zerglings still alive on the front. No kills on the Zerglings out in the front. In the meantime, Launch doing a pretty good job of droning up. Natural expansion now up. For Zen, getting his initial cannon down and dropping a second assimilator, so it looks like he wants to go for something tech heavy to follow this up. He's got that cybernetic score morphing, trying to move to that 12 o'clock location, wants to see the drone count. Zergling speed is being upgraded behind this as the lair is just finishing. Some more Zerglings making the way down to join the front, and five zealots now marching across the map 
for Zen that should provoke a good amount of Zerglings. I like the timing of this because this is before the Spire gets dropped. So either as it's forcing launch into decision here, do you build more Zerglings, which it looks like he's going to opt to or delay that Spire a little bit. Delayed that Spire is building a huge range of Zerglings behind this. Zergling speed just about to kick in. And now, <clears throat> can Zen keep these Zealots active? It looks like that 12 o'clock base only has two drones. This probe going to make it all the way back to home base. Are the Zerglings being built? Yeah, it looks like the Zerglings are going to be built in just such a time where the Zealots are going to get sandwiched at both locations. Although, the timing of this working out really well for Zen, where they're landing right on the ramp. So now going to be able to march in, maybe even take out this hatchery. But at the main... Start plus one weapons, no Corsair initially being built. That Spire is actually about halfway finished, so he might want to get a move on. One of the drones down, pulling the rest out. Now the Zealots completely blockading everything else, but now that's leaving no Zealots on the front door, so launch going for a counterattack on the front. Probes blockading, doing a good job of disrupting these Zerglings. Now working on that gateway, a Zealot looks like it is going to be able to get out. That's forcing another cannon down. In the meantime, some Zerglings have gotten in a position that, that they've just been holding the ramp and denying mining at that 12 o'clock base. Some Zerglings continuing to flood in. But that was a huge amount of Zerglings expended for not a lot of infrastructure, infrastructure maybe some delayed mining, but not a lot else as far as damage-wise. So Zen, in a pretty good position, lost maybe four probes in the midst of all that. Still hasn't lost this cannon. More Zerglings continue to flood in, and now launch turning this into an all-on Zergling all in, sending even more Zerglings towards the front, rather than sending them to go ahead and clean up the Zealots here at that one o'clock base, which is continuing to deny mining here. However, behind this, we have we still only have a single Corsair. We'll see if the Scourge are able to move in position and swat that. If there's a quick turnaround from launch in the form of Mutalisks, still might be able to create a lot of havoc because there's no cannon currently defending in the main, plus one weapons a ways off finishing. And now, yeah, you got three Mutalisks being constructed. The Scourge might be able to sweep. The Zelt's finally starting to attack that hatchery. Zerglings blockading themselves out of the one o'clock. But now the question is, is okay, where do these mutal actually, the Zerglings accidentally attacking the hatchery there for a half second. Where do these mutalists go? Because it looks like, I admit, it looks like the Scourge were able to find, or are they able to find the Corsair? The Corsair's moved out. It's got plus one weapons, but that was a big investment in plus one weapons to not end up with an air advantage as far as a follow-up because of dealing with those Zerglings. Two cannons now dropping, additional Corsairs being planted in the main. <clears throat> that cannon preventatively being plopped at the natural expansion, which is going to be necessary now that the Mutalisks are out in flight. Trying to get a count on the full number of Mutalisks. This is where I wish I had like kind of a unit tab to just see how many are out there. Plus one, so, but now Zen in a pretty good position. He's got double the worker count. He's not really boxed in. He has invested heavily in Corsair. A little bit late on these gateway drops. The mule's trying to push in. They're probably going to get taken care of summar summarily. But one problem for Zen, though, is, is he didn't get those additional gateways up very rapidly. And he needs to get that large unit count so he can go ahead and push out and grab his third. He's done a great job denying mining at that one o'clock base. Fourth hatchery is up for launch. He's been pretty well disrupted. Corsair is being hunted between point A and point B. We got five Mutalists versus three Corsairs with plus one. That's not a winning combination. That's just a single score Scourge. That gets wiped out nearly immediately. So Zen in a pretty solid position now. He's got a lot of Zealots waiting for that plus one weapon to come, come online. We've got a single Zergling blockading at the nine o'clock. But I would like to see Zen actually drop another two gateways. But it looks like he wants to go for a Dark Templar, High Templar follow-up. And maybe see if he can poke something that direction. Launch continuing to gather units on the external plateau. Dark Templar might be able to find the light of day because these Overlords not very well protected and we we don't see Hydalus Den as of yet, so it looks like it is going to be five hatch. Usually you'll see six hatch Mutalisk, but it looks like at the moment going to be five hatch Mutalisk. As far as a follow-up, more Scourge in flight gathering around that nine o'clock position and launch starting to gather. Yeah, he really wants to take out that Corsair fleet and make something happen with these Mutalisks sweeping in. Forcing a morph of that Archon. Let's see if there's a cancellation after the fact. But forcing an Archon to be constructed, that's not the worst for Zen, because that'll help protect the Zealots should they decide to march out. Plus one weapon, going for plus one armor actually, rather than plus one weapons, a little bit delayed there as well. Now dropping an additional gateway. And starting to move out. He's got to be very, very careful guarding these Corsairs alongside everything else, but this Stark Templar could be a big problem out here in the field. 
Scourge getting, I was going to say wiped out for free, but instead able to take out two Corsair because the Corsair count, not at the exact place where it would be able to provide a lot of support. Drones now migrating to refill at 12 o'clock and all of a sudden launch has actually surged to a very, very healthy drone count. <clears throat> where Zen, because he's not pushing to take a third, might want to get something done. A Dark Templar trying to sneak in. There is a something colony and some Zerglings there to help deal some damage. It looks like the Dark Templar is still going to be able to at least force a little bit of scatter. The Hydral Sten has plopped down and gotten position. But in the meantime, the Zealots have managed to force into the one o'clock, tanking down one of the something colonies. The Archon working on the second something colony. And the Corsair is distracting the Mutalisks enough where they're not able to engage. So it looks like Launch might end up losing here everything here at the one o'clock. And Zen has just been fantastic at brutalizing a lot of this territory. Right now he's at double the supply count. More Hydralisks moving out. But back at home bit, yeah, launch gonna GG right there. Great play from Zen. So he will advance along the lower bracket. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, check out the Winner's League down the line. Thank you for listening.